it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for July 2018. So Virgo, this month your ruling planet Mercury is going to take a retrograde along with Mars and Chiron. We're also going to welcome Jupiter back from his nap. He'll be coming direct and we're going to have a couple of eclipses. How about all of that? So while that craziness is going on, the good news is you will be magnetic as craziness right you're gonna have venus in your sign all of this month which is just a beautiful energy for you to work with it actually makes you a magnet towards resources finances self-esteem it beautifies the image it's just such a wonderfully magnetic energy i am a taurus i am ruled by venus and i tell you when venus comes back around and visits my sign it is like people just cannot get enough of stormy grace which is a beautiful energy because it usually connects me with people that i wouldn't have connected with before so that could definitely be something you're experiencing it could also be a time too where you're just like oh why am I so cute? How come I've been so busy? I forgot to look at how cute I am. You know? That could be a thing that's going on this this month as well. That's a beautiful energy for you to work with because don't forget that Venus is also over the value, the self-esteem and those kinds of things. So lift yourself up this month or lift yourself up this month, whatever you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Now let's jump in here because I really wanna break this month down by date to get you into the information and out to ju enjoying July, okay? At the beginning of the month, we've got Chiron going right retrograde in Aries. So transiting Chiron is in Aries right now, which whenever this is happening, we are fighting for our identity, right? What's my purpose? Why am I doing this? Why am I here? Why am I taking action here? And this is in your eighth house. So this is a very deep, intimate place. Chiron is already a deep, intimate energy because it's the place where we're the most afraid. It's our wound, right? This is the place we've been harmed where we feel the most vulnerable, right? And by healing it, we're able to help somebody else. And in the eighth house, this is intimacy, my fears, my beliefs, my successes, sex, my reproductive organs, my finances, all of these things that hit me at a deep, connective energy and level where I'm sharing with another person. Now with this Chiron, on turning retrograde here in Aries. One of the things you get to work at is answering that question. Why am I here? Who am I? What am I doing in this particular arrangement, right? If this is a joint resource kind of thing, why am I involved with this bank? Why am I involved with this person? Am I actually allowing my medical practitioner to help me with my reproductive things that may be going on? Am I studying with someone, right? Because you don't have to know everything, Virgo. You don't have to know everything. Sometimes you gotta bring a mentor in. And by looking back and answering these questions about what is the limiting belief? What is the actual action? What are you trying to prove? What's your motivation for doing what you're doing? You're gonna find out a lot of information about how to heal that wound a little bit, getting into the crusty, icky of it, of it cleaning it out so that you can move it forward, right? Without establishing a new identity and dealing with whatever fear is sitting down here, Virgo, you're going to have a really hard time moving forward, okay? Now, on the ninth, we've got Venus, our smaller benefic planet, which means she's always bringing benefit, is coming into your sign, so lighting you up, making you magnetic, maybe bringing a little bit of the sexy back, which I think is a phenomenal energy as well, because let me tell you, if you are single, this is definitely a good energy to attract or to bring someone into you. It's a wonderful energy for that. And even if you are coupled up already, maybe you've needed some spice. Have you been looking at each other in your yoga pants and work clothes like, you know, for the last three weeks? Maybe it is time to put on a little something and remember how foxy you were when you two got together, whatever it is. It's also a great energy for attracting, um, potential people to work with. That is always beautiful for me. Now on the 10th, we've got Jupiter, our biggest benefic planet coming direct in Scorpio. And this is lighting up your third house. So this is beautiful, expansive communication for you. You're trying to get that website out there. If you've been working on it, this will be a wonderful time because even though Mars is retrograde, if you have been working on something, you have the blessing and kind of the benefit to keep it going. It's establishing and launching out something new that may not be to your biggest benefit here. Conversation maybe with siblings. And I also feel like with Jupiter here in this third house being direct now, um, he's bringing benefits that he's been waiting to give to you, right? Because he's a benefic planet. So even when he's retrograde, he's pretty generous, but it feels like trickles. You know, it's kind of hit or miss. Here, you might find some of your mental life clearing up and you're feeling like there's benefit here. You're getting hits to your website. You're having that conversation with your sibling. Oh, that freaking house that you posted finally is getting a little bit of attention, right? Those sales you've been trying to make. You could see that coming through here for sure. 
Now on the 12th, we've got the new moon partial solar eclipse happening at 20 degrees of Cancer, and this lights up your 11th house. Now I wanna tell you very seriously, Virgo, this month, um, this is still our new moon for the month, so we wanna plant those seeds of intention to watch them grow over the next six months with the solar eclipse. And one of the things that this gives me in the indication of is that you need to bring new life new connection into your social life and not into the social life where you're serving everybody else you're very good virgo at taking care of other people making sure their needs are met and you want everything to look good and you want you know what i mean i get it i'm a virgo rising but this is about your life and your social group do you have what you need to be supported if not, you've got to step back into letting people support you, Virgo. It is all too important. You cannot feed somebody else if you are not nourished. You cannot. It's not going to work out as well, okay? So feed your soul so that you have a lot to pour into these people. Service is a thing that you love. Be fed so that you can feed, okay? Now, the other thing I think at this um at this eclipse as well is you could just be inviting new people um, into your world. This could be a very big social thing for you where new people are coming in. But like I said, just make sure you're fed, okay? On the 22nd, we see the sun moving over into Leo. This is lighting up the 12th house space. Wherever the sun is at, it says, I need to be seen. I need vitality. I need life to be happening here. Notice me, notice me, notice me. And then on the 26th, we've got Mercury taking a retrograde here in the 12th house as well. This is your thinking, your mental life, your communication, your decision making, your ruling planet. So you energetically will be in a slowdown this month and I think that you need it because being here in the quietest spot of your chart again makes me say nourish yourself get nourished when's the last time you had a spiritual experience are you spiritually awake or are you wandering through your life being of service to other people Virgos and the headlights not really on the sixth sense is not really on you're just kind of trudging day by day right are you cleaning out the skeletons in your own closet are you working on that research project are you digging down there for the details and I will tell you too for some of you guys with this mercury being retrograde mercury is infamous for bringing back exes you could have an ex rolling back in here um, or you could have an idea of an ex or something coming from the past that's very romantically or relationship based from the past and maybe it's giving you something to look at or maybe even I had an experience this is probably a few years ago where I used to be a part of of a group and I stopped going to that group right and then I got into a mercury retrograde and I'm like I was so happy when I was doing that I need to go back to it and it's been a part of my life ever since so think about these things as well okay but the 12th house space to use this retrograde well reinvent revise re-edit reconsider review re 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 look back slow down and look over what you need so that you can help those that are needed right on the 27th at the end of the month we've got this full moon lunar eclipse and it's a total eclipse and it's happening at four degrees of aquarius okay so this is lighting up the sixth house space for you you are a natural sixth house ruler so this energy i do think is semi-familiar to you but because this is happening while there's also a Mars retrograde up there, I do think that there's some frustration for you here, Virgos. One thing I definitely think is possible because this is our full moon, which says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted, is you could quit your job over the next six months. You could be like, I cannot be coming here. I can't even get into the parking lot. I feel like my days are loaded with talking about how unhappy I am with this job and you decide not to come back. Or it could be something else where you feel like, because remember, this is Mars energy. We're talking about your action, your initiation, your fire for doing what you're doing, your motivation. Maybe you just can't find it, right? You just can't find it. You feel unproductive. You feel like you're not because, you know, that's the thing. You got to be busy. If you're doing something, then you're good, right? And you're just feeling like you don't have that fire that you're bringing to the table. I would tell you, don't force it. Don't force it because you're not going to be able to anyways. Our action planet is retrograde. Your ruling planet is retrograde. You're not going to be able to put any force on this. Let it be what it's going to be. Reconsider where maybe you can move a little bit differently. Now, I will tell you, because the sixth house is also... Um, 
a place where I think of freelance work or working independently. If you do own your own company or something like that, you could have some employees that quit or you have to fire, you have to let go. You're going to have to make some kind of adjustment in that zone. Think about the adjustments you maybe need to make in your health this month as well, Virgo, that will keep you fed. Remember, you've got to feed yourself so that you can feed others, right? You've got, you can't transmit something you don't have. That's where the magic comes through. So, good month, busy month, up and down kind of month. It's very good that I think that you're able to be a little bit flexible in your movements with things. So use that to your benefit this month, Virgos, okay? Please keep me posted on what's happening for you guys this month. What happened for you next month? Leave it down below. I love seeing how the forecasts are lining up with what you've got going on. If you need something more specific that's very specific to you, to your business, to your plans, let me know. Come see me at stormygrace.com and I would love to sit down and help you out. And if I can't help you, I promise you I will refer you to one of our beautiful friends here either on YouTube or in the Astrology Connections who can, okay? I love you guys. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you throughout the month. Bye!